to my Tessa Sine tutorial and also welcome back. It's been a long time. I hope you guys been doing well. Today we're going to create this ghostly looking flower by using a technique that I discovered not so long ago. I've been using it on a couple of my recent work and got some people has been asking me about it. So here we are. Let's get started. So first, let's set up our network. Go to SOP and SUPQUAT. It's quite an underrated operator, but I find it very interesting to work with. And connect now. And Tiongkong. Camera. And light. In the top, on resolution, I'm just gonna put in 1080 by 1920. Um, feel free to put in whatever works for you. Connect to RGB key for a black background. Let's add our material. So go to mat and light. And then drop light into 01. Let's begin working on our structure. Uh, make some room between subquat and all. Click on subquat parameters and then change type to polygon. You can apply the numbers I'm having on the screen for you for now, but we will be experimenting and changing things a lot in this tutorial. I don't want you to be worried about the numbers. I want you to experiment and have fun. So I just want to let you know that you can pause and come back anytime during the video. Let's add our convert to stop. Open up the parameters and then change convert to NURBS curve and then you order turn it down to 3 down here, press up original, turn a switch on. And at this point, you will have this kind of a neural web texture structure. It's a foundation of my technique that I use on some of my works, like I mentioned earlier. So as you can see here in these examples that you have been asking about. Let's continue our flower. So open up GO1 and then on rotate X, put in minus 90. And rotate C, put in ABS time dot seconds, multiply by 3. Uniform scale 1.5. Let's add twist right after super quad. So go to stop and then twist. Y axis and then strength. Put something between 90 to 100. 80. Make some room between twist and convert. We are also gonna add copy. I open up the parameters. And then on copies, put in like two. 
and then on road 8 Y put in 45 now we have a flower let's work on our line mat so let's just the numbers and see how it turns out and how you like it for now there is no fixed numbers or anything it's just a experiment and we're gonna adjust this later on And we can go back to twist and then play around with the strength. Between twist and copy, let's add noise, and you can follow the exact numbers. Once you are happy with the look, let's create a glow effect by using composite and the top. So make some room between renders and RGB key. So go to top and then composite. We also need null just in case. Blur and then blur to comp. On comp, open up parameters and then change the operation to screen or add. Depends on how you like it. Let's adjust the value and turn back on the viewer. I don't know why I did that, but uh, yeah, further size, push it up to 32, so all the way up, and then pre-shrink, so maybe 2 uh, or 3. Let's finalize our lie setup, so whatever you have been working on so far or you can also feel free to follow my setup in the exact numbers I'm having on the screen for you looking great so far but we are going to add a few more things to make it more interesting 
let's make a copy of a set null geo in line so all three copy and paste it make sure that convert is connect to our second null open up the uh, second line and then turn the lines off we need points so turn a draw points on It's a point size and what I'm going to do here is to increase the size of our GO2. We're going to make it look like a flower pollen, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, um, go back to adjusting the point size a little bit, so maybe like 0.5. Go to setup and play around with the numbers or put out the exact numbers I'm having on screen for you. Now we have our ghostly looking flower. I'm going to disconnect noise for now and I'm gonna come back to it later. Alright, let's add some colors. So go to top and then look up. Down here at the uh, ramp. Connect RAM to look up and work on our colors. Also, you can use HSV Adjust Top to refine your colors. Let's also add level to add this brightness. Let's go back to that noise shop that we have disconnected. Disconnect the RN, twist and noise. And move noise 
to down here and then connect convert to it and then I still not of the GO2 make some room we're gonna add a another noise I'm gonna turn this fever back on so we can see how it goes we just need a tiny bit of amplitude so I just put it out point one and that's it nice I just like it better when the only pollen is moving not the whole flower all right um let's hop back to tops and finish our final step which is the luma blood and we're gonna use noise as a masking so to do that let's add luma blood top And now here, nice top. Connect nice to Luma Blur. Let's adjust the parameters and follow the numbers I'm having on the screen. But if you're trying to experiment, um, just keep in mind that the white areas of the noise going to be the blur masking. There you have it, the ghostly blossom flower. And you can try to explore and experiment with the numbers in parameters on sub operators. It will give you different results. And uh, that's the whole voice of learning and have fun. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new today. Let me know if you have any questions regarding to this tutorial and feel free to tag me on Instagram. I would love to see what you're gonna make. If you wish to show your support, I have a buy me coffee link down below. Also, I just signed up for Patreon account. But um, to be honest, I still haven't figured it out what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I'll let you know. And um, yeah, that was it. Thanks again and uh, bye.